Emily Bova and I am a nursing student here at Williston State College and today I'm going to be performing a midstream urine and a inline catheter insertion and removal for my scalps today. And so what I'm going to start out with doing is I'm actually going to perform my hand hygiene and I'm going to be either outside my patient's room or um, in the med room. I'm going to check the order from the doctor. And so I have Shirley Coles, she's a 54 year old female. Her date of birth is 5-14-1964. And the provider's orders say that she was admitted to the med floor. Um, the orders are for a clean catch urine analysis now. And then we're going to insert an indulene catheter after clean catch urine analysis. Um, she's gonna get an irrigation cap of the catheter with 30 milliliters of 0.9% normal saline as needed. And then um, we'll also be discontinuing an indulene catheter um, after uh, when the doctor um, orders it. So that is that. And then I'm going to make sure I have all my supplies for my clean catch urine. So I have a sterile cup, I have a label, I have my biohazard bag. And since my patient is a female, um, I'm going to just verbalize to my patient that she is going to um, bring the sterile cup with her to the bathroom and she is going to um, use three wipes going from front to back, and it's gonna be outer labia, inner labia, and the urethral meatus all down. And then um, in a perfect world, our patient would um, start the urine and then stop the urine, put the cup under, catch a little bit of urine, and then stop the urine flow again, and pull the cup out and continue to urinate, cover the cap, and then she would bring it out to me. At this point, I would grab my gloves, and I have the urine cup and I have a label on here and for my order, I'm double checking my label and my order is both Shirley Coast, 54 year old female, date of birth by 14, 1964 and Shirley just gave me this and I'm going to label this with the date on here. It is 10 30, 19 and right now it is 10 25 and my initials. And I'm gonna label that right on the cup. Making sure not to put it on the lids in case they get lost. And then we're gonna put this in our biohazard bag. Zip it up. And then I would delegate this to my helper to get it directly down to the lab so it would um, not expire as my specimen. And then I would take off my gloves, dispose of those in the trash, and I would do my hand hygiene and I would document um, what exactly just happened as far as my urinalysis. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be inserting an indwelling catheter after my thing catcher analysis, which is what we just did. Um, first things first, I'm gonna go gather my supplies. So I have a bucket of supplies for Shirley Post, 54 year old female, 514, 1964. And we have our, and I, documented that with that. Um, I have everything there. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go into my patient's room and we would um, introduce ourselves to our patient. Hi Shirley, I'm Tony and I'll be your nurse today. I'm just going to double check your name and date of birth. Okay, can you give that to me? Shirley Coast, date of birth, 514-1964, double checking. Perfect. Thank you, Shirley. How are you feeling today? Good, okay. It looks like the doctor has ordered an indwelling catheter. Um, you're gonna be having some bladder surgery today. Okay, um, or ad abdominal surgery, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do indwelling catheter today and the doctor's explained this procedure, correct? Okay, just double checking and make sure. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get out my sterile gloves. I'm gonna get out the catheter kit that has been provided. It'll be the correct size catheter for my patient um, and what the doctor has ordered, which was the 14 um, French indwelling catheter. And then I have a bucket of um, warm water with my washcloth and a towel. And so Shirley, I'm just gonna pull back your 
your sheets here. And I would make sure that the bed is at the correct working height and that the side rails were down and that my patient was in the supine position. Um, first things I would do is I'd grab this, my warm wash, and we would do perineal care, making sure to go from front to back on our patient, making sure it's clean and we would dry. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare my sterile field and all my sterile products um, as well as my gloves for the sterile procedure. Um, making sure I have everything in order here. Okay, so what we need to do to start out first is we're going to open our package. I have made sure that my table is clean and there is nothing else on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to open our package. Okay, and then I know that I can grab this out of the package because the outer is going to touch the table. And then I'm going to use this actually for my garbage and we would place this towards the end of the bed. Um, so all of our products or used products would be able to be put in there. Okay. And then I would do my hand hygiene. And then we're going to make sure our table is right here in the working area for our catheter so that I don't have to turn my um, body with a sterile field and make it unsterile. So what I'm going to do to start off with is we're going to open up our kit, make sure it's in the proper area so I have plenty of room. And then so we're going to start, we're going, <laughs> we're going to start it this way and we are going to um, make sure to not touch the edges and it's going to come out here and you can touch the one inch outer margin and then the side and then this side one inch outer margin okay and then we got this here and one inch outer margin making sure not to cross my serial field with my arms and then i'm going to turn this into more of a square so i have a better working spot okay and then I'm going to don my sterile gloves. So the first thing that's in my kit right now is my glove kit, and I'm gonna pick those up over here. For the purpose of the video, I would have sterile gloves here, and I'm going to open those up. And I'm not crossing my sterile field. Also not turning my back to the sterile field at all either. I'll move this over just a little bit so I have a little extra room. Okay, my sterile gloves. And this table is very shaky. not touching the side or the inside. All right, so I'm going to start by putting my glove on my uh, dominant hand first. And so I'm going to pick up the outer cuff of the glove and we're going to slide our hand right in there. And I can touch this part because it's going to be touching my skin. that is on there and for my non-dominant hand then we're going to slide under the cuff and that is going to help me get my glove on this hand and I'm still reaching under that part And 
now that I've got my gloves, my sterile gloves on, I can um, move this out of my way so this would actually go to my garbage. And then I would grab my drape and I'm gonna put this under for my patient and making sure the shiny side is down to protect the bed from any um, fluid that might get there. And I would actually put a check under there as well beforehand just to make sure that anything would have not happened. And then I have a fenestrated dressing, which I am not going to be, um, or not dressing, fenestrated drape, which I'm not gonna be using for the purpose of the video because it's, it's in the way. So it would be in the garbage. And then I have swab sticks. To clean and so I'm going to move this my box because my sterile gloves and everything is sterile here making sure that I keep the one inch margin out here and I have my glove on Put that here and I'm going to prepare I don't need this part so that will go in my garbage and then I'm going to prepare my um, catheter and get that ready for cleaning the female labia and then I put my saline for my balloon which is 10 milliliters of saline on the end of my catheter and that would be prepared and ready to go and these are all sterile so it's okay to leave it in the sterile box and at this point I'm going to move my sterile box to right in front of my working area which is also on the sterile cloth And then I will grab my swabs and I'm going to cleanse the um, labia area. So we're gonna start by cleansing your vagina. Okay, Shirley? Okay, so we're gonna go and we're going to cleanse the outer garbage, this inner labia garbage, and then we're gonna make sure to cleanse the urethromeatus and everything goes from front to back. And at this point, I'm actually going to, I would normally have my lubrication in my tray. And at this point, I'm actually going to have my camera person lubricate my um, here. <laughs> and since it's a female, it would be two to three inches of lubrication. And for if I had a male, it'd be seven to nine inches. Well, let's hope this works because our lubrication isn't working as well. <laughs> and so I have this ready and I would coil this up in my hand so it doesn't um, get outside of my sterile field. And then with my non-dominant hand, I'm actually gonna come up here and I'm going to spread the labia open. And then I would have my patient, um, <laughs> this is not curling very well. And then I would have my patient bear down and um, breathe out her mouth like a little straw and just breathe. And so we're gonna go in, and surely on the count of three, we're gonna start inserting. I'm gonna have you bear down, okay? One, two, three, and we're going to, hopefully, that was enough lubrication. And I'm gonna insert, 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 until I see urine coming out. And then at that point, I'll insert another one to two inches. And, and then I will let go and bring this over here. And at this point, I can take, since everything that's going to be in is going to be in, I could take my um, non-sterile hand and grab the tubing up here. And then I'm going to insert my saline to have my balloon lock in there, since I have already inserted another one to two inches. And we're going to insert that slowly just to make sure we can. And 
happening and apparently it's not going through. <laughs> Normally, it had stopped, but we didn't have enough lubrication on here because our bottle of lubrication did not want to come out. So we're gonna do that. And this balloon does not want to fill. I'm assuming it's just because of the mannequin, but normally it would be the 10 milliliters of saline and that would lock it in place. And so then I would get rid of this in the garbage normally, and then it would be disposed of. And so I'm gonna put that in there because I'm gonna need that for later. And then at this point, I'm going to make sure my patient's catheter is gonna be secured to her leg. And then we have our box that we can get rid of, but this would come down and this would normally hook to our bedside, which I can't do on this one. And then this part would clamp to our patient's gown. And then I'm going to get rid of my box and all my supplies, get off my gloves off and my garbage, which would be normal. And at this point, I would cover my patients um, for privacy, and she's got her indwelling catheter in. And at this point, since it was just inserted, I would actually be able to get my first urinalysis from the bag because this would be the only time that we'd be able to get it. Um, and then I would cover her up, put her call light in place, put her in a comfortable position, and I would do my hand hygiene and document my gloves, or uh, take my gloves off. I'm gonna document. Um, any color, clarity, any sort of um, urine output, and I'm gonna document the procedure and how everything went, and that would be it for that procedure. And now I'm going to irrigate my, um, ir irrigate my catheter, making sure I have all of my supplies, and I have my doctor's orders in. And so for my irrigation, we have 30 milliliters of 0.9% normal saline. And we have 0.9% normal saline. And we have our um, irrigation needle and irrigation syringe along with our sterile irrigation tray. So we'll do this, make sure they're there. And again, I would have been outside of the room and then I'm gonna go back to my patient. I would verify her name and date of birth and make sure we didn't have any allergies as well again. And then I'm gonna provide my patient privacy and um, that would be it. Hi Shirley, I'm Tony. Um, you have an order to irrigate your catheter with 30 milliliters of saline. And so I'm going to do an irrigation for you today, okay? Okay, and so then everything would have been done. And so we are going to, I check my orders. We're gonna make sure we have everything open. And so this is sterile. I'm gonna do my hand hygiene and I'm gonna put normal gloves on. Since this is a clean procedure and not a sterile procedure. And so I've done my hand hygiene, I put my gloves on, and we're gonna open our irrigation tray. I'm gonna get everything out. I'm gonna dispose of this because I don't need this for today. And then I have my normal saline. I'm gonna get my syringe out. And I have my needle, which I'll also attach right now as well. Garbage. Attach. And I'm gonna make sure we have everything ready. This would be garbage. Everything is ready. So then I would open up my saline and then I'm going to dump, 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 dump. And making sure this was normal temperature. We don't want anything to be cold. We want it to be comfortable for our patient as well. So then I would have that there. I have the irrigation syringe and um, needle. I have my two alcohol wipes and we are ready to go. And so I come back over to my patient. I'm already in my patient's room, but I am right here. And so first thing that we're gonna do 
is we're going to cleanse the irrigation port right here. We cleanse it for 30 seconds just to make sure there were no microorganisms that be able to get up into the bladder or the urethra. And there'll be garbage. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle cover off. And I'm going to insert and draw up 30 milliliters of the 0.9% normal saline. Okay, I have 30 milliliters of normal saline. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to insert this spot. I would clamp to make sure that nothing would happen. No drainage would come back out. And so irrigation, it would come in here. And then we'd insert our 30 milliliters very slowly just to make sure that no cramping or any problems would occur. Okay, my 30 milliliters are done pull back out and I'm going to use the scoop method for my needle grabbing by the sides. I'm going to pull my needle off directly right away, dispose of it in the sharp container. And then again, I'm going to cleanse my port for 30 seconds afterwards, just to make sure. And at this point, I'm going to release my clamp, my Kelly uh, forceps. and my 30 milliliters of solution should be coming back out. I would take my gloves off as I'm washing it and I'm gonna dispose of those. And then I'm going to document my procedure of what I just did, making sure to document any color, clarity, how much came out, hopefully all 30 milliliters came out at this point. If not, we would make sure to document that and notify the provider. At this point, I would cover my patient back up and um, Make sure she's comfortable. Obviously, I should cover every privacy. <laughs> and then I have documented and notified my provider as needed. My last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be discontinuing the indwelling catheter. And so I am going to make sure I have a chucks pad for my patient and I am going to double check again as I go in the room I'm going to double check my name and date of birth of my patient how old she is and make sure we have the correct name to the order make sure that I have the right patient so I'd be going into the room do my hand hygiene hi Shirley I'm Tony and it looks like the doctor has ordered your inguine catheter to come out you must be feeling better good good I'm glad to hear that good and so then um I am actually going to place my chucks pad underneath your um, vagina area, okay? Okay, so Shirley, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the catheter and I'm gonna be ever so careful just to grab this part here. Oh, hand hygiene, gloves again. And this is just a clean procedure. We don't have to worry about the sterile procedure this time. Okay, and so now I would go to my patient, I would grab the um, catheter port right here, I would remove this part, making sure to stabilize, and at this point I'm just going to um, grab right here, and I'm going to make sure that it's not going to hurt my patient. I moved my part. At this point, I have made sure to put my saline thing in and it would actually re remove on its own up to 10 milliliters and so since it didn't work for this mannequin it would actually come out but it would be 10 milliliters and make sure to notify exactly what that was to remove my balloon before I removed my catheter and then that would be disposed of and then at this point we're going to make sure we have all this right here 
And as it comes out, surely I'm just gonna have you bear down and on the count of three, we're gonna have you take a deep breath and we're gonna pull it out, okay? One, two, three. Okay, and then I would immediately grab, fold it up, remove, come down here and grab all this and dispose of it in the biohazard bag. I would take off my gloves and I'm gonna document my procedure. And at this point, I would put a hat in the bathroom, in the toilet, because we need to document her urine output at least twice and um, make sure she actually urinates within the next eight hours before, um, just make sure everything is working correctly. Um, and then I would document my procedure. I would make sure to clean up all of my supplies, do my hand hygiene, and then I would leave the room. And that is it.